Okay, this is a quick explanation of changes to the way that we handle stream traces in TechBlot 360 2012 R1. Uh, you can see that there are a couple of things we've added. There are two new options. One, uh, the option that we've always used is Pointer Rake Tool. Uh, we now have surface zones, or we can select an object, like in this case we'll use the slice, and uh, say create some volume ribbons. And if I hit create, in this case, you can see it will create 100 stream traces seated on that plane. Now, that would be great if you're looking at an inlet, for example. Uh, perhaps in this example, though, maybe you want to look at uh, across the entire wing. So in that case, we can just move the slice direction by hitting uh, X. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and create some new stream traces, again, using the object. By hitting create, you can see it creates 100 stream traces and it tries to keep them around the area of interest and it's looking at the vector field while it does that. So that's if you're looking at volumetric streamlines. On the other hand though, you may want to look at, uh, say, the surface of the wing. So by selecting just the surface of the wing here, we'll uh, just turn on those zones and uh, we'll use surface lines and instead we'll use the selected or active zones and we'll look at about 250-ish uh, stream traces. And we can create those now on the surface of the wing. They're randomly seated. That allows us to very quickly identify areas of separation as you can see in this example. And that's what's changed in 2012 R1.